Okay, so talking about your cycle, your period, with training, with CrossFit, with food, with all of those things, you have to understand what's happening with your cycle. Now you can go and read a whole lot of books and you can go and understand what the research says about what happens and how it affects training, but to be honest, a lot of that information is irrelevant because the research is done on untrained women, the research is done on uh, like moms of three kids, like it's, it's not necessarily relevant to who you are, your training, your age and stage. Like you you need to know your own physiology. So let me give you the basics and then I want you to understand what things you can start tracking to understand what's going to happen throughout the month because let me tell you right now, if there is one thing that I have learned in the couple of years that I've been tracking my own cycle, it's that quite literally every single symptom from skin breaking out to feeling sick to feeling tired to being under recovered to like having digestion issues to feeling depressed, they always come back to where I am in my cycle. Okay, basics in your cycle. We're only talking about estrogen and progesterone today. We can also talk about the luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone um, because those levels are gonna move throughout because those hormones are the things that trigger different parts of your cycle. But to keep things really, really simple, what I want you to know is estrogen starts low at the beginning of your period, which is like, three to five days, okay, generally speaking is what we see. Estrogen peaks right before you ovulate. Ovulation is the queen of your cycle. The queen because that's when your egg is released and that is what you have a period for. The period is not the point of the period. Ovulation is why we get a period. So ovulation is really the health marker of your period. If you're not ovulating, you're not getting your period. If you're getting your period late, you've ovulated late. Okay, so estrogen peaks, then you ovulate, the egg is released, estrogen drops back down, and then it's gonna rise up again the week before your period. What you can see here is progesterone builds and peaks again with estrogen about five days out from your period. Those two are at an all-time high. Then everything drops and resets when you start your actual period. So to keep this simple, to, to make this just like not be confusing at all, you have your follicular phase and you have your luteal phase. Think of your follicular phase, the first about two weeks of your period, as your low hormone phase, okay? This is the low hormone phase. Then the second two weeks of your period, the luteal phase, consider that your high hormone phase. If you're gonna be tested, it's here. It's in your high hormone phase. You're gonna hold on to more weight, okay? There's gonna be a lot of water retention. You're possibly gonna be experiencing things like back pain with your muscles and your joints getting all loosey-goosey. You're also gonna experience things like being constipated, having your skin break out, having a shitty day at the gym, not feeling as strong, not feeling as powerful. So things like trying to get results in the gym, trying to lose weight on the scales, if you're in that two-week window, understand it's not gonna feel like you're making progress. You're gonna get, you're gonna feel stuck, you're gonna feel like you're in a rut, you're gonna be talking about plateaus a lot because you're just in this shit part of your period. You're also gonna probably feel like just cranky, tired, like that, those are symptoms you might experience. Stop being surprised by that stuff, okay? It, like literally every month, people are like, man, I feel really tired. It's like I'm about to get my period. And I'm like, hey, you fucking are. So like, surprise, surprise, that's what happens. What you have to do to understand the pattern is you have to start tracking your cycle. And there's so many apps now that you can do that. You can use Cycle, you can use um, my personal favorite, Kendara, and you can begin tracking all of your symptoms. So things like, for about two years, for me, I would have back pain, and every time I tracked that against my cycle, every single month for two years, day 19. So it was right after ovulation, I would always have a sore back. Didn't know why, but I always knew to expect that and I would always feel it in training. And I also knew that I could train through it without having any problems, okay? Day 19, I, I freaking don't know why. And then around day 20, 21, I might start getting some breakouts and I also start sleeping really badly. So I get really, really hot. Progesterone increases your core body temperature. So you're gonna wake up potentially at night just like sweating balls and not knowing why, okay? It's because you're about to get your period, so be aware of that. 
If you have an irregular period or a period that's late, what that means is ovulation, the queen of your cycle, is not happening. There's something going on with ovulation. So sometimes when people come off the pill or if they've had a really, really stressful period of their life and they've lost their period and they're working on getting healthy to bring it back, it won't happen for a while because it takes a while for ovulation to reoccur, okay? Your brain is communicating to your ovaries, quite literally, that takes time. And the journey of the follicle that matures the egg to be released in ovulation, it's about 100 days long, so like 12 weeks, so three months. So your period this month is a reflection of your health over the last three months. Meaning, if you lost it this month, don't look back on the last two weeks and wonder what you've done wrong. Look back on the last three months and identify, hey, was I stressed out? Was there a big event in my life? Was my body stressed out in terms of excessive training, maybe not eating enough? Those are gonna be your identifiers for, I'm not ovulating, okay? I've got something else happening here. So uh, things that you wanna track, like I said before, back pain, sleeping, mood, your energy, your skin, your digestion, like everything and anything, even like your libido, like, hey, are you feeling like horny as fuck or not? Because that's gonna be connected back to your period. When you start doing that, and you start also doing things like tracking the scales, how much you weigh, you're gonna identify that these two weeks, there's probably not gonna be a lot of movement. Then you hit the beginning of your cycle and you're gonna be dropping the weight that you've been holding. So you're gonna see big drops here. That's me. That's what I want you guys to learn. I want you to start tracking your cycle and put those symptoms, anything and everything, even things like heartburn, even things like, hey, my heart rate jacked up more than normal in training today. If you're learning about your period from someone like James Smith, that's, that's a problem. You need to know about that stuff before you're watching some dude who's a PT um, talk about it in a TED talk. Go and learn about your cycle.